Hi, I'm Phil Anastasia from the Philadelphia Inquirer, and here's what's happening in South Jersey. Whether it's football on Thanksgiving Day, girls soccer, or any sport in between, it's always a big deal when Cherry Hill East plays Cherry Hill West. The rivals met Monday on the baseball field, and West rolled to a 15-2 victory behind junior left-hander Brendan Del Monte. And then what about the rivalry with East? It's always got to be great for you guys to beat them, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's great. Um, when I was a freshman, sophomore, we didn't beat them. So it's, you know, it's great to be able to beat them as a junior. The Lions wrapped nine hits, including doubles by Vince Cahill and Anthony Lisa, and took advantage of nine walks. But the big story was the return to the mound of Del Monte, last season's ace who hasn't pitched since the end of last season with a shoulder ailment. Making his first start of the season, Del Monte pitched six strong innings, allowing two runs on four hits with seven strikeouts. Looking ahead, this weekend marks the opening of the 38th annual Joe Hartman Diamond Classic. The single elimination tournament starts Saturday with eight games at four sites. The diamond always is wide open, but number one Gloucester Catholic looms as a heavy favorite this season. The Rams, who are number 42 in the ESPN Rise Fab 50, have outscored their last 11 opponents by 111 to 8. That's it from the Jersey side. See you next week on Rally Recap. Hi everyone, I'm Rick O'Brien. In PA Sports, Friends Central is showing that it has more than just a top-ranked basketball squad. On the diamond, the Phoenix, led by shortstop Bo Hauser and outfielder Akiva Goldstein, have a 15-7 record and are prepping for the upcoming Friends Schools League playoffs. Friends Central overcame two deficits to beat Germantown Friends 9-6. Newman Goretti swept its series with Archbishop Wood to all but clinch the Catholic League Blue Division title. During an eight-inning triumph in Game 2, Mike Zoom Zolk, a University of North Carolina recruit, slammed two homers and picked up the win in relief of starter Joe Jabe. On the football front, Colin Thompson, a 6'5", 255-pound tight end for Archbishop Wood, did the Gator Chomp after announcing that he was going to play at the University of Florida. Thompson became the second junior from Wood to commit to a D1 school. Star rusher Desmond Peoples started things off when he picked Rutgers as his future home. That's it for PA Sports. See you next time on Rally Recap.